Good morning, Dapplings, and welcome back to Dapper Glen Farm, and of course, to Stardew Valley. I hope you all had a wonderful Boxing Day, as you can probably guess, by virtue of the simple fact that it's the first day off I've taken in a bit over three months. I had a pretty good one, though I must confess that uh, I did struggle to know what to do with myself, and I spent more of my day off than I would like to confess trying to remind myself not to think about work. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get better at it with practice in time. Right, let's check on the weather. It is, of course, raining today, and it is going to be sunny all day tomorrow. Marvellous. And fortune teller. Let's have a quick look. The spirits are in good humour today. Oh, well, maybe may a fishing day, then. Maybe a fishing day. It would have been awful luck if uh, today had not been a fishing day, and it was raining. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Now, we can't go down the mine, so there's uh, a lot of things we can't do today, but there are still... A good many that we're going to want to do. In fact, let me go ahead and drop off some uh, items that we've got with us right now. We're going to hold on to that leak. That leak is some good forage right there. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of clean up around the farm. Um, mostly, I'm thinking in the direction down to the south, if we can. Get rid of some of these rocks so they're not in the way should I need to make a mad dash down here in the future. Right now, we're just uh, preparing the farm more than anything for later expansions, but uh, for the moment, we're not going to be expanding it too much more. That being said, we've got 800 very, very heavy coins in the coin pouch that are just begging to be turned into seeds. And uh, we're probably going to do a little bit of that as well, so I should probably do a wee bit of hoeing as well before we get uh, get too carried away and spend all of our energy. There we go. I'll just grab these little bits. Ooh, found a geode. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. Okay, well, we can definitely go and say hi to uh, Clint later then and maybe get this done. This, considering that they're, the spirits are happy, now is a decent enough time for us to go geode breaking. Should always try and aim for the high luck days. Um, and it, if you're particularly, um, if you're really needing something that you can only get from a geode, then maybe even boosting your luck with certain foods prior to uh, going and cracking those open. Best to stack the odds in your favor. One of the big advantages of the, uh, of the forest farm right there, the hardwood that will always be available. Uh, it regenerates pretty much every day, uh, much like the the uh, the secret forest. I actually forget the, the name of the forest. My lord, it's been a while. I, I remember Cindersnap Forest, but uh, I don't believe that that is the name of the secret forest. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm going to have to refresh my memory once we can go there. Or, or some of you knowledgeable peeps in the comments can let me know as well. That is uh, that is definitely another option. Uh, there we go. All right, we've got a couple of. Little odds and sods, a few few little seeds that I would be most happy to lay down. So let's make a little bit more room. There we go. And let's get these in the ground. There we are. Okay, let's drop off all of these items that we've got with us. Uh, all of these can go in there. That, I'm actually pretty pleased with the coal, I'm going to be honest. Uh, we're not going to need the side any longer. And I could bring the spring onions with me. Um, the leek... Okay, we're going to take out some, some presents today. But the, the the leek and the spring onions... Uh, sorry, the leek and the daffodil will we'll use as gifts. We will take the geode and uh, we'll, we will get that sorted as well. All right, let's pop those in there. Don't need the fiber just yet. We will soon enough. And I'm sure a few people are like, Oh, no, you can't really fiber. You don't need that in such a massive quantity. I, I probably do. <laughs> there is so much... One of the reasons why why I haven't played the game in quite as long is so that I will forget things like this, and it'll it'll be a bit more of a learning experience for me. Uh, so uh, understand that I am doing this kind of with eyes wide open uh, and and intentional. Uh, I'm looking for someone to bring me twenty five copper ores to aid in the understanding of local minerals. Uh, Two hundred sixty gold on delivery. You can keep the ores after I expect them. Uh, I will happily do that, but it's going to be a bloody while, mate. Ah, uh, closed on Wednesdays. Not so great. Hello. <sighs> this is not good weather for sports. I know, I know. When I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. 
I think the roof might be leaking. Well, have a daffodil in that case. To lift your spirits. Oh, hang on. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. You're more than welcome. It is the flower of my people, you know. It's awful cold, isn't it? What a rotten day. I kind of like the rain. Uh, let's carry on our way. We'll go and uh, pay a quick visit to Clint Lapel. The only thing we can do today is fish, actually. But we'll try and we'll try and poke our hands in and visit as many peeps as we can. Uh, actually, we should probably stick our head into the uh, the museum. Hello. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better go out there and do some treasure hunting. Oh, no. I will, however, open up all these books. Now, I have read all of these before. So, I'm, I'm kind of in the habit of, ah, I'm just going to click on all of them. But, you know, <laughs> I just realized, you know, some people may be watching this series who haven't read them all before and haven't seen the last two series I've done. So, we shall take our time to read them. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload, or hasten crop growth. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapiens clear, or else it may not grow properly. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow in multiple seasons. For example, corn, which can grow uh, across too. Uh, some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with a scythe. Very well. This is a book by Marnie. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day, and prefer to eat grass outdoors than dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain, though. Happy animals produce bigger quality, uh, sorry, higher quality products. They do. They may even be bigger products, I'm not I'm sure. Uh, well, in the case of milk, kind of. On foraging, the local woods and mountains are great places to find wild produce. A good forager will clear out any weeds, stumps, or stones from these areas so that they, the wild produce has plenty of space to grow. Now, that's an important detail because when it tries to produce um, wild forage in an area, if there's something already there, it won't pick another spot. It'll just be like, oh, well, I won't put something there then. And, like, maybe an area might get 20 random rolls, and if five of those random rolls had something there already, because you hadn't cleared it out from last time, then you only get 15 new items of forage across the whole area. Maybe there's even... Uh, those numbers are... are um, I've just plucked them out of thin air, but that's basically how it works. I'm not sure how many random rolls an area gets every day. It might only get one per day, and it just accumulates over time. So you do want to clear them out if you've got nothing better to use that energy on. Expert foragers know the secret of cultivating wild food so it can be grown on the farm. Isn't that amazing? It is. There's a book missing here. Oh, there's another book missing here. What's this book thing? Aha, there we are. The Fisherman, Act 1. Text. Gordy, how do you catch so many fish? For me, it takes forever. Gordy, you must make a choice to become a true fisherman, and over time, your fishing speed will increase. Text. So you're saying that improving my fishing skill will make me fish faster? Gordy, correct. One day you may even learn the secret to creating your very own bobbers, improving your mastery even more. Now be gone! My lord, Gordy, that's so arrogant. <laughs> Just dismissing someone? Like, From my sight, peasant, I have fishing to do. My goodness. Hello, mate. First, let's say hello to you properly. Uh, hi. I'm Clint. Uh, yes, I, I know. It's okay, Clint. Could you possibly process these geos for me? Thank you kindly. And also, ah, there we go. Got some uh, copper there. Not terribly bad, all things considered. I mean, you do kind of need it. But now my inventory is full of two things, which is less awesome, I'm going to be honest. We are about to fill it with even more things, sadly, because we're going to the beach. And the beach... Is a spot where you might end up with all kinds of of uh, shells and, and other such things. And some more stone. No, well, I mean, at least they stack. We can't go in here because uh, Elliot won't let us into his house at all because there's only one room, so effectively if it be, uh, it's his bedroom. Uh, we'd need 300 pieces to finish that, but you've got to be friends to enter someone's bedroom. So if their house has less, uh, less rooms, then there's a good chance you might not actually be able to go in there. This is a bit of a shame, really, but uh, there we go. Right, is that... That is an artifact that we can take to Gunther, okay. Well... Hmm. You know what? Let's head over here and say hello to the seagulls. Hello, seagulls. Hi. Oh, you didn't need to leave. I wasn't going to pet you, I was just going to take a selfie. Right, okay, let's go ahead and do a little bit of fishing. 
in the shadow of this big rock there. On fishing days, I believe there is a slight, uh, a very slightly better chance of getting uh, more interesting fish. Or at least uh, of them biting a little faster, but I couldn't tell you that for certain. Um, I believe that is the case. Uh, come on then. Uh, we've already missed out on the perfect there, which is quite sad, but oh well. Uh, I'm so out of practice of getting those maximum casts. It's a little bit saddening, if if uh, if I'm being true. Uh, it was a time when I could get a maximum cast and a perfect uh, fish without even trying, but uh, long gone are those days, sadly. You slowly get a bit more used to the types of fish that... Ah, oh, we just missed out on the perfect there. Perfect gives you a massive bonus to the amount of uh, experience you're going to get. I think it's something in the realm of two times as much experience from a perfect catch. So they really, really are worth trying to get. You will level up your fishing so much faster if you can try and maximize that. Uh, well, we're going to gobble down that seaweed straight away. Nom. Ah, good times. Uh, we'll go with one more fish. Oh, that was an awful cast. And then we're going to go and see Gunther before the museum closes. We've still got a couple of people we've got to meet in the town. And we may have an opportunity to uh, poke around and uh, meet as many of them as we can today. Since we, it's kind of a free day. That's the way I think of uh, rainy days. As they're, they're basically free day. Oh, damn it. Now that fish was a little bit tricky there. And my fishing bar is still so narrow. It's a little bit hard to, uh, to respond to those. But uh, that seems to be a fairly good fishing spot. A gold star, a silver star. I approve. My tip for fishing does seem to to hold true though in that it is better to have the bobber towards the uh towards the the the, uh, the sorry the bar with the fish towards the top of that bar rather than towards the bottom because it takes a little bit of time for the 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 fishing bobber the the to lower down whereas you can make it jump up instantly but lowering down is a slow affair abysmal Really? My fishing wasn't that bad? Come on, dude. Not a single piece of the entire collection. That is fair. I mean, it's a museum. How did it get this bad? What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Sure. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I mean, uh, of course I'm going to donate. I, what else am I going to do with an anchor I dug up at the beach? Here you go. Now, uh, we'll pop this one. Well, we're going to probably get a lot of, like, old uh, items like that. So we'll pop it over here. But I've, I've never really had a very good system for arranging the museum. Perhaps this season, or this series rather, will be the one where we actually do set this all out properly. No, I didn't mean to try and fish you, Gunther. I'm sorry. Uh, there we go. Gunther asks you to consider donating any new artifacts. 250 gold. Thank you ever, ever so much. Doesn't seem like you've got anything else to donate, so you may may leave my presence now. Yeah. Did you write that fishing tale? Is it? Did you just change the names to, to perhaps protect your identity? Uh, okay, well, let's see... I've already chatted with you, but I'll chat with you now. Oh, well, I can always lift weights inside. Or you can come outside and see your dog. You know, that's, that's also a thing you can do. Uh, let's see. Nope, it's locked. Okay, it's a little bit late for that then. Well, let's pop our head into the saloon. Perhaps there'll be a few people. Oh, <laughs> Hello. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I like to think so. Out of all the places you could live, watch this paladin down. Well, precisely because it's not like any of the other places I live. 
Howdy, kid. Staying dry? Um, in the literal sense, no. In the sense, I think you mean yes so far. Ooh, wiggly worms. Tonk, another copper ore. Fantastic. Hello, mate. No, I don't have time to chat with you. Wow. Rejection stings. My goodness. Okay, well, let's uh, take a little bit more of a wander up, up top. Uh, we're going to have to use the stairs, honestly. I should have just gone back across the bridge, really, but... Uh, oh, well. Uh, we'll swing on up, because I do believe there is a gentleman who will be especially appreciative of the leak that I have. Now, question is, where will he be? I think on rainy days, he mostly hangs out in his tent. Oh, no, under the tree. Okay, fair enough. Hello, mate. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Well, I shot, mind you, but here you go. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome. As far as I remember, he will pretty much accept any forage and is especially appreciative of forage. It's going to be another day. Or possibly even another two before we... No, actually, we should go and uh, see if I can talk with Robin and her husband. Um, but uh, I, I think it's going to be possibly another two days before we can go to the mine, sadly. Uh, don't mind me just wandering into your house. Hello. Greetings. I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. You're more than welcome. I'm sorry I had to do it in your kitchen. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maro? She's interested to meet you. Uh, I can't, and she's in her bedroom currently. Hey there, Avak. Hello, Robin. Gotta, gotta keep uh, keep uh, watering these friendly relationships via the, the water that is good conversation. It is very, very good for friendships to have a chat every single day if you can manage it. Every day you don't talk to them, it decays very slightly. Um, or at least it decays slightly if you go enough days without talking talking to them. So you don't you don't want to neglect them. Chat with them whenever you can. If you're if you're in a in a place where where someone you, you see frequently happens to be, take the moment just to say hi. Ah, there we are, Harvey. Hi Abak. Uh, read anything interesting in the library lately? Actually I did as it happens. <laughs> well, um I'll, I'll see you around then. Uh, okay, fair enough. Hi there. It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. I need a little warm me up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. Do you actually go uh, fishing every single night? Because I'm very certain you come in the saloon every single night. Uh, hey, Leah. This morning I accidentally stepped on a bug. Well, it was an accident, as tragic as it is. It's not like you intended it. Just be a little bit more careful, I guess. <sighs> hey, kid. You're too young to be moping around in a place like this. Well, I'm not moping. <sighs> I'll leave you to your moping, though. It never rains in Calico Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. I wish I could visit her today. Do you not like the rain? I'm a little bit surprised that you don't, Emily. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Good evening. Can I get you anything? Uh, no. The introduction was more than enough. How to win friends. Giving gifts is a great way to build friendships. Learn each person's individual tastes and you'll be popular in no time. Oh, well, I, but I... Ha I have two today, in fact. Scoundrel. I'm the Town Blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. I, I could give you that copper. I, I don't know if you like it, though. But This makes me depressed. Oh, no. <laughs> See, I probably never, ever gave you, like, actual ore before. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, you're just giving me more work to do. Why? Why are you giving me work to do? makes me I came to the salute to get away from the the heat and the toil of the forge and people just thrust those on me anyway I'm sorry mate I feel awful now 
Giving gifts is a great way to build friendships or lose them. Learn each person's individual tastes and you'll be popular in no time. Or the exact opposite, if you'll be. You know what? I need to lift my spirits a little bit. Um. Hmm. Now, nah, Junimo Kart. It's a skull shaped keyhole. Oh. I guess Journey of the Prairie King then. Fair enough. Right. Oh, yes, this is in fact. Da! Man! <laughs> It has been a long time. Uh, I was trying to use the mouse, but uh, no, it is keyboard only. There we go. I was using uh, the keyboard first, and then I thought, I was sure I used to be able to shoot diagonally. Of course, you can. You just use two keys at the same time. I know. Crazy pro, pro strats there. Not for the faint of heart. Uh, well, I mean, this isn't going to be a perfect run, no matter what happens. Oh, thank goodness. Got a little bit of a... Uh, life back. No, give me the coffee. Now I shall use the coffee and I shall be very, very fast. Not quite as uh, awesome as tea, but it'll do in a pinch. Ay, 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 ay. Of which that most certainly was. Don't do what I just did and move really close to the uh, sides there. Because unfortunately, things have a habit of just, you know, showing up. Right, now I need to get uh, this coffee used up so that I've got a spare item slot. Ah, okay. Oh, another life. Ooh, always a bit risky. Alright, let's try and take you guys out. There we are. Not too bad. Ah, I do miss this game. Uh, not that I have to miss it anymore, but uh, I did miss this game, I guess I should say. Alright. How many more of you are there? Well, we've only got a little bit more time on the clock. Ooh, that's a very good item to pick up there. Very, very nice indeed. Alright. Now then, let's see. Time is starting to tick down. Good, good, good. I'm gonna keep hold of this one. I forget, but I'm judging by the the nature of it. It's it's probably one of the better power ups. I think it may give me a, a weapon power up as well as speed power up. I'm not sure if it gives me inv invulnerability. That uh, feels a bit too uh, too obvious. And I'm I'm guarded now against m me not knowing what's gonna happen. He's like, oh, no, no, this is exactly what's going to happen. Oh, no, it didn't, and I am de now dead. Much sadness. Uh, okay, well, so far, it's not throwing anything too hairy at me, but we shall see. And before I grab the next... Well, actually, I'm going to hold on to this power-up for a little bit, I think. Oh. Be gone. Thank you very much. Got to pick up those coins while I can. Lest I not get all of them and can't afford awesome power-ups later at the shop. Oop. Hey. I was, uh, I dislike that many of you on the screen at the same time. Two in quick succession? That's just not allowed. Uh-oh. Trying to uh, remain mindful of wh which side has recently had a spawn. Ooh, now that one I kind of want. There we are. Pop. Whoa. I, I apologize for almost shooting. Well, I mean, I did shoot at you, but it was an accident. Um, yeah, we'll go with the, the upgraded gun, I think. Speed might have been a good one, but being able to shoot a little bit faster is definitely worth it for us. All right, now then. How's things going to go here? I've also got to be very mindful that uh, whenever I... Pl ah, I should have used my power-up. Uh, whenever I, <laughs> I was trying to preserve it, uh, it, it's that whole thing of I've not used uh, items in in so long that uh, now I'm going to die with the items that I needed. Ah, really? Okay, fine. And I still died. That was awful. That was awful, everyone. I feel ashamed of myself. Okay, the wheel I remember being a fairly good power up. Try and get everything. Now, it doesn't matter in which direction I'm shooting now. Uh, we'll grab the wheel again. Thank you. We need plenty of coins here. 
Uh, let's hopefully not get snagged there. Well, I guess. We, oh, wow. Okay, that's. I may as well just hang tight around here. I'm basically god. Okay. Well, uh, our awesome power up is about to run out, sadly. But for now, this is amazing. I feel invulnerable. Which is a terrible, terrible thing to feel because it's almost certainly going to get you killed. Ironically, really, when you think about it. Right, which way are you going? You're going that way? Ooh, that's not particularly good. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. So far, so good. We've still got the boss to fight, and we've only got three lives to do it with. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Out of the way, I want the coin! No! Ah, Atmos would be very disappointed in me, you know. Okay. Is the boss the next? Wow, okay. I completely have forgotten how many levels are in this. This is why I played Juno Card. Has significantly less of a chance of turning one episode into five. Uh, I mean, actually, on the plus side, letting one of those deploy in the uh, the mouth there is quite useful. Two coins. Uh oh, that was uh, that was potentially. Deadly there for me. Uh oh. Once again. Very much. Uh oh. You need to not be there. Whoa. You're getting wise to my antics. I mean, this place looks highly defensible, but really it's just reducing my escape routes. Uh, it does reduce where they can attack me from, but there's a lot more of them than me. They can clog up the. the uh, Entry points and more importantly the exit points much more effectively than I can deal with them. I want that coin so much though. Ah. Okay. I would very much like to Oh yes. That is very much what, what I want to have. This should make my job significantly easier. Oof. There are an awful lot of them now. Nope. I accept. Okay, we're so close to winning this level that I'm not going to use that power-up just yet. I think we're good for now. Okay, now I just need to destroy the uh, deployed uh, spikes, and we've got another shop. 16! We can't afford the best possible gun, but I could go for a power-up, or I can have better bullets. We'll go with better bullets. We're going to go... Uh, gonna go the aggressive route here. And now we've got a boss. You'll never take me alive. Well, wasn't actually the plan, so I'm okay with this. Oh, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> it looks like you're going to do a fairly good job taking uh, taking me down before I can deal with you. Right, okay. Nope. A little bit more damage to do to you, but I just need to be a bit more safe with where I'm attacking. Honestly, if I just peek out, it's probably the safest strategy to use. Just duck out to do a little bit of damage here and there. If I can time it right, when they're going to be moving to the side, then I can do a whole heap of damage to them if I can line up how I'm progressing. Quite a lot there as well. Like if I can time my movements such that I'm moving in pace with him, then I'll stay ahead of his bullets for the most part because generally shoot straight up. That should finish it off. Oof, there we go. And we get a reward that I'm not sure of. And also a an extra life that I should have grabbed. Dra damn it, blast. Oh it keeps going! Oh no, I've I've fallen into a classic trap. Why have I done this to myself? And they're all so much faster. I should have taken the boots. Uh here forever, everyone. There's no getting away from this. Uh certainly not if I move this slowly. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's uh try and keep this up. No idea what that does. Oh, that's right. I'm now basically a zombie. That's fine. I'm okay with this. 
No more monsters spawn, though, it seems. No, no, they, they do spawn, they just... They're wise enough not to try and approach. Clever, clever monsters. No, 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 no. I absolutely need this right now. I'm going to live and die on whether I can use my power-ups immediately or not. Uh, or if there is a shop every level. I mean, that would also help. But I, I really should have remembered that I needed to have mobility by this point. I'd completely forgotten that this just keeps on going. Uh, nevertheless, you know, I'm, I'm here, so you're here. This is the way it's going to be. Right, let's try and deal with this. But these, these mushrooms are surprisingly spry, honestly, for mushrooms. Uh, thank goodness we've got some of the tanky ones, because they are giving us a, a bit of respite. Very gratefully received. I need to get rid of you. Yeah, 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 you know. Wah, almost caught me. That was not going to last very long. Oh, thank goodness. Um, absolutely boots. Not even a question there. Thank you very, very much for the boots. We may have a tiny, tiny sliver more survivability now. Show ah, oh, I was going to say show up before my my power up runs out, but no. Now the lack of mobility here is going to be a bit of a nasty one, honestly. I'm not sure how we're going to handle this at all. Maybe if I can use this, we'll have a bit more survivability, but it's still only going to be a little bit. Oof. Right, let's uh, see if we can't get a little bit of you. The thing with the uh, triple shot is actually aiming in uh, an unorthodox direction for the thing you want to hit can sometimes make it a little bit easier to hit just because of the way the uh, bullet spread happens. Let's not play around too much there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is entirely too many mushrooms. Entirely too many. I, I am getting... Very, very bad vibes from all of these mushrooms. I don't know what happened to Toad, but <laughs> something extremely undapper. I am I'm guessing for him to be this angry. Uh, okay, I have no idea what I just did. I, oh, I confused everyone. Fair enough. I mean, that was good, but I had nowhere to go. That's life, everyone. Thankfully, we are down to the last third on the timer, so we've got a small chance of success, but almost no chance of buying anything. Uh, we do not have the money. Okay, we need this mobility. Alright. Tiny chance... Oh, and this. Uh, tiny chance of getting to the next level. But again, no shop this time. There is no way we've got enough money for it. Okay. Ooh. Interesting one. I believe they can still enter from the sides, sadly. If it was just uh, the top and the bottom. Oh, I really need that. No, oh, ah, that scallywag got caught on the bridge. Drag. Game over. Restart. No, no, we're good. But oof, that was a uh, that was a grueling battle, if ever I took part in one. And it is quite quite late. Uh, okay, we're going to wander down this direction. Uh, can we perhaps go and say... No, we're not going to be able to say hello to uh, Haley Or um, Vincent. Or Jody. Sadly. 1,100 gold, though. That is kind of crazy. I do wish I would brought my... Uh, my axe now. Or at the very least my scythe. We don't yet have a sword, so can't make use of it. But it is a good luck day, so there may be some forage available. There is. So I shall gather all of this beautiful, beautiful forage. Thank you. You know, no point in letting it go to waste. By picking it up, we're going to encourage more of it to grow. There we go. Alright, well, I guess we're going to do a little bit of fishing before... Heading back. That was... Uh, I enjoyed myself, even if I did fail awfully. Oh, that was an awful cast. But I did. I had a lot of fun. Uh, there's a, a uh, fishing spot over there. As soon as we're done here, we'll pop on up. Right. Oh, you're a, you're a pretty spry one, aren't you? Okay. This may be a very... Ooh, that was a catfish, I'm guessing. 
That felt like it was a very difficult fish to catch at my current fishing level. I'm going to put my money on a catfish. Thunk. Straight away. No, no, catfish. Stop. Ah, damn it. Uh, it's going to be one of those days, I'm afraid. Little sparkles indicate that we did get close enough to where we needed to be. Are you going to be a catfish? No, you're probably a bream, I'm guessing. I'm going to guess a bream, though. It is night, so it might be something else. A chub. There we are. Right in the bubbles. Another chub. Ooh, a treasure chest. I accept. Before we catch that. Treasure chests, like uh, Perfect Cast, give you a experience multiplier. So it is worth going for the treasure chests over the Perfect. If you can get both, that's amazing. But that is probably not going to be a very common occurrence. What do we get? Bait. Okay, well, my inventory is now chockers, sadly. However, I'm going to gobble down some of these Silver Star onions. I don't have an awful lot of uh, time, but we can get at least one more fish. And I know I could have just sold those, but I'm fine with this. There we go, perfect. Now, the bait is probably less valuable than uh, those three. Oh, actually, that was a perfect catch. Nice. Uh, a gold star bream. I could drop the stone, I guess. Uh, yes, we're going to pop the stones. We're going to arrange them in a nice little display on, on the shore there. That's fine. Now, we don't want to hang out too long. Ah, oh, really? I right, go straight in the bin. Sadly, we uh, we don't have a recycling uh, recycling device over at the farm so that we can make use of the rubbish that we find when fishing, but eh, it'll do for now. Which way are you going to go? There we are. Another perfect. Oh, a shad. <sighs> I, I'm kind of glad and also not because that used up an extra inventory space that I would have would have liked for something else. Hey -o. Oh, actually, I can't, can't chat with you. It's a little bit too late. I have got to move now. Now, this is another reason why I cleared the path down to the south, is so that I could uh, get up to the farm nice and quickly, should I need to. And we do need to, in this particular instance. Now, am I going to have enough time to drop off some items? Probably. Yes, yes, we will. Oh, no. Bloody scarecrows. Scoundrels, a lot of you. Uh, you know, we're going to drop all of that off today. There we go. A fair old bit of money there. And we're going to climb into bed just in the nick of time. Oh, what a long day. But level two fishing. I can now make bait. Uh, great. And we made, uh, you know, it's not a terrible amount of money, to be fair. Added to what we've already got. Day four of spring. We're going to be able to afford a lot of seeds. Now, what seeds we're going to get, that's another question entirely. Okay, let's check on the weather report. we have It's going to be a clear and sunny uh, day tomorrow. All day, as with today. And the spirits are displeased, so no fishing for today. I mean, you could, but you're going to have much worse luck. This is one of your, uh, one for you folks living in Saudi Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of town, where the river meets the ocean. You can some find, sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Indeed. As it happens, I have already been availing myself of nature's bounty. <sighs> Both in game and in real life. Tea is, of course, one of the most well-known aspects of nature's bounty. Uh, hi there. Uh, good morning. I noted that you've been breaking some rocks open and, and finding ore. That's good. That's good. Um, if, if you want, if you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll, you'll need a furnace. See, I, I feel that like Clint is such a shy person; he'd probably find it very difficult to to talk with people. He'd find it maybe stammer of his words a little bit more. Certainly, wouldn't have a bombastic voice, despite the magnificence of his beard. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around uh, here. I, I want you to have them. Thank you very much. 
I have learned how to craft the furnace. Huzzah! The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars, and the bars can be used for crafting, construction, and, and tool upgrades. Which you, which you can buy from me. Uh, when you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home now. Take it easy. I will. Don't work yourself too hard, Clint. All right, there we go. Now we need to uh, forging ahead. Craft a furnace. Well, we actually probably maybe have enough to do that. We've certainly got... Well, uh, we don't have enough... Uh, uh, sadly, we don't have enough copper just yet. We've got many things we're going to need to do, though. Oh, my lord. All right, so first and foremost, let's uh, go ahead and craft said furnace. We're going to need... Oh, we need we need copper for that as well. Drat. Drat, 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 drat and damn. I actually should be keeping hold of the leak so I can make wild seeds, thinking about it. Okay, well, that's fine. We're, it's going to be a little while, but we'll eventually get there. Um, where are we going to go today? I think we can't craft any fertilizer yet. Well, the first and most obvious thing to do, water all the plants before the day runs away with us. We've got to spend a little bit of time before we can go and speak with... Uh, Pierre, and buy more seeds. I guess we could just prepare the area for said seeds. Let's get a little bit of everything down here. I am most, most disappointed in the fact that uh, some some scallywag crow is made off with my potatoes. My lord, I don't just moved in. So rude. That being said, I hope it at least enjoyed them raw, though they may have been, and not mature, though they may have been. And in fact, I'm facing. <laughs> don't feed, don't feed your, your crows cooked potatoes, or at least let them cool first. Uh, those dapper individuals who understand the uh, the majesty that is having a pet crow. Oh, thankfully, we've got so much clay here. Right, I'm afraid you're going to have to make a, make a move. You. There we are. Very nice. Now, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, dangerous though it may be, that down here would be a perfect place. We need to have some trellis crops, uh, which would be... Yeah, I'm fairly certain there's a trellis crop in, in spring. We will have to go and check that out, though. Uh, now then, I guess I don't strictly need that with me. Where we're we going. I might keep it though. I might actually take well, you know what? I may I may take a couple of items that will be useful as gifts. But I don't need my watering can right now. Alright, let's go and see what is available for us over hither. Now I can't wait until I can make tree taps as well, because we're gonna to want to start stocking up on the sap early. It takes a long time to gather the the kind of amounts that you're gonna want. A little bit of copper ore there, not too bad. I need 20 before I can do anything really useful with it, though, and that's going to take some time. Most sadly. Uh, I am bringing the side of though, because there's a couple of spots where you can side a great many... Um, a great many uh, uh, little shrubberies. Um, ideally, gather to them seeds. Now, using the scythe on just two items, or, or worse still, one, not as... Useful, but ah uh, no! I forgot there was a rock in front of it. Mm, that's vexing. But ah, uh, it's fine. Gotta take the good with the bad. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive. I'll pay ninety gold to the fisherman who catches three herring. Good luck. Um, I'm not sure about any quest that involves herring. Was well, still any quests that involve herring and a forest. But maybe. Okay. I think, yes, we're going to grab bean starters. Now, how many did we need to get? We needed 24, I believe. Now we can have enough. We are just, just going to have enough. And we can grab an extra potato seed as well. Now, the thing with uh, beans, uh, they take 10 days to mature, but they'll keep producing after that on the trellis so you know it's 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 a long-term investment it'll only only work for the single season and we're already starting four days behind but i think it's fine 
We should be okay with that, I, I imagine. Hey, Penny, how are you doing? We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. It still saddens my heart that you need to forget the realities of your life, honestly. Uh, I have a quick gander. Well, I can't go into anyone's bedrooms yet, so if they're not in their living room or their kitchen, then they're basically out of bounds. And once again, sadly, oh, Jody is furiously washing the dishes. I'm hungry. Where's mum? Uh, literally right in front of you. So you're a farmer, huh? Interesting. Is there nothing else? No. Maybe someday you can teach me how to grow vegetables. I would be more than happy to. Alright, well, let us go and see what we can gather from down here. Maybe we'll see Leah. Uh, once again, I think Leah is going to be... Yeah, it is uh, one, one room house, so we can't really uh, interact with Leah, sadly. Oh, you know what else we failed to do? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. You're not. Well done. Um, I forget what day the caravan arrives on. I hope, sincerely hope, that we haven't already missed an opportunity with the caravan, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, we will have to see. I suspect we, we might be okay, though. There should be plenty of forage down here. There we go. Nice. Getting a decent amount of this. Oh, there's Leah. Hello. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome. There's actually a lot of wild food in this area, if you know where to look. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. I love that about you. Uh, right. Okay, all of these quests continue to be uh, ones that we can't actually progress easily right now. I mean, the fish in the head one is not too difficult, I suppose, but... Ooh, some wild forage. Yes, please. Now, again, maybe I should hold on to these and try and get some extra wild seeds. We'll see. If nothing else, though, it makes for an amazing gift for... Uh, Linus and eventually Krobus, but that's gonna be uh, gonna be something that we're not gonna have to worry about for quite some time. There we go. So many seeds. This is fantastic. We are actually getting close to our limit now. Thankfully, seeds don't take up uh, extra inventory spots. Forage can do, depending on if you get a high quality forage. Are we gonna be able to hold that? Yes, we are. It was a bit of a risk. Didn't know if we would. Maybe that that saddens me so much. Can't pick this one up because of my inventory being full. Well, dread that one blast. I'm well. It's not going to be a gold star forage. I I just I guess I'm going to just leave it there. Then. Also, don't know what this is going to be. Let's find out. It's going to be clay. Sadly, can't pick it up. It might have been copper. Have to check at the very least. Uh, there's, there's going to be loads more. Right here. Let's grab what we can. Anything we can't pick up is because it is a higher quality. But that's fine. Going to try and collect these pretty much every day. Whilst whilst we have the option. Seems silly not to. There we go. And another uh, regular quality dandelion as well. Okay, let's head back to the farm. We've got a decent amount of work ahead of us. Well, that being said, actually, we've already uh, laid the groundwork before we uh, went out today, so we've cut down a little bit on the amount of work that is uh, is going to be there. Uh, you know what? Why am I why am I walking past? Uh, earlier it was because I spotted Jazz and I wanted to try and catch up with her to say hi. But... Hello, Manny. Hi. Need something? Uh, just a chat. Might be getting some different kinds of animals in the future. That is marvellous news. Although, I'll need to make sure there's a market for them, so you'll have to prove your skill with animal first. Uh, okay. I must be good with the animals to get the animals. Seems legit. Ah, circular logic. Alright, let's get back 
drop off a great deal of the items that I'm just carrying around with me. I'm gonna have to clear out the trees from around here a little bit. Now I'm gonna tend to avoid clearing out the bushes that are in the uh, uh, on the grass because I have no no real way of putting them back there. And I don't know if it lets you plant them. And I'm fairly certain you can't plant bushes unless that is something new. Oh, really? Oh, I... That was silly of me. Uh, that was that wish, wishful thinking, more more like it. Uh, I did not account for... Ah, that is annoying. Oh, well. I did not account uh, for that. I thought I had uh, four sets of, of trellis spots. But I, in fact, only had three. But there we go. Now, over here, since we've got so much forage, we may as well expand this out a little bit. Don't actually need that much, but it's fine. There we go. That should bring us a decent return. We are already starting to run up against the, the limits of these areas, though, in terms of uh, how much... Oh, I'm going to take that out this time. Uh, how much arable land there is in this farm. Uh, also, a lot of people pointed out something which I'm a little bit sad that the game didn't make clear. There is normal soil on the beach farm. There's not a lot of it, but there is some. Most of it is sand, and where the sand exists, you can't use sprinklers, but it's not as dire as it sounds. Uh, based on the game description saying, yeah, the sprinklers won't work on the sand. Well, I mean, it's a beach farm. Why would I assume there's going to be anything but sand there? But you do actually have little patches of uh, arable soil here and there, which you can use to uh, to get that going, which, you know, again, wish I'd known that. Alas, did not. Um... Are we going to go do some fishing, or are we going to do, go do some scything? I think we're going to go do some scything, and then we're going to go do some fishing with the remainder of the day. So, yeah, let's go and let's go and take care of the little the little spot that is going to annoy me if I don't take care of it today, over by the community center. Ah, uh, you scallywag, you! I'm quite glad that we managed to give out a couple of gifts so far. Uh, we will hopefully. Uh, I always felt that in, in the last in the last series, and I kind of did this in the second series as well a little bit. I ended up being so social early on that I had nothing social to do later on in the in the game, and that that always felt like a, a, a bit of a, uh, a a bit of a sad state to be in. I ran out of things to talk to people about. I, I you can tell I'm Welsh. I very, very quickly exhausted all of the conversational topics. And I was like, well, uh, and this not being real life, you, you can't easily um, come up with new ones. Uh, the game developer just didn't make it, uh, this game for someone that quite as chatty as me. Sadly. I'm going to go and collect that clay because I don't like leaving rubbish around. It saddens me. Let's go and pick that up. And also, I didn't ha take time to say hello to the hat mouse. If the hat mouse is in the hat house, uh, might, might not be, actually. I think you may need to get a, a letter from the hat mouse first. May as well pick up a little bit of extra forage, you know, while we're here. In fact, keeping hold of some gold star forage is probably in our best interest, thinking about it. Is the clay still here? Oh, I think it was down here. Yeah. Uh, but it may actually be worth keeping hold of that for the grand display. Yes, the, the hat mouse has not moved into the hat. Uh, sorry, the hat uh, mouse hasn't moved into the hat house yet. However, if you can <clears throat> have forage from different seasons, I, I think forage from different season counts. I know that the best grand display score comes from having a wide variety of of items at high quality levels. So a gold starfish or the, an iridium fish in my case, a um, gold star piece of forage, a gold star animal product, a gold star crop, so on and so forth. A, a, a little bit of everything, a mineral, something from the mines, like a, like a gem or something like that. 
these all count enormously towards having a nice varied display, which will get you a lot of points. I'm not entirely sure whether it matters if the, uh, what season those items came from yet, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's drop those off for now. And uh, we're not going to need these for quite some time, but I do need to get a last little bit of fishing. In. So let's go do that. Yoink. And then we can drop these off. Not going to need them. It's only 9.50. We're going to go down and uh, go back to our our comfortable little fishing spot down down the, the south of the farm and spend the remaining few hours before bedtime just seeing if we can't catch a couple of more fish that will uh, help pad out today's earnings. Not that we've had a bad day, but it definitely hasn't been a good day either. Uh, we'll probably head back a little bit earlier than I usually do, just so that we can uh, hopefully see what items I've got. So, oh, really, I'm starting to feel exhausted now and I didn't bring any food. Uh, because I thought I was being so clever and dropping everything off, and of course I dropped all my food off. Hello, okay. You're just gonna have to get used to these these uh, these derps. They they are in uh, they are sadly unintentional. I wish I could I could. Oh yeah, I'm just hamming it up for entertainment. I know, no, this is what it's like living with me, living inside my head. This is what my day to day is. You only have to watch it for for an hour every now and then. I have to live this. Have a think of that. It's not a nice thought. Right, we're not going to be able to get far enough away now to uh, uh, to make any good use of it. I can't believe it. I had such good intentions. I really did. The intentions are so pure. Uh, do I want to leave this? Um, well, I only need one example of a of a of a uh, gold one, I think. So we're going to sell everything here, and then whatever we can fish in the farm itself. It's not much. But it's something at least. I can't believe that happened. I really can't. Uh, well, all right. Let's uh, let's let's go ahead and just fish, fish in our own little pond. What kind of uh, what kind of things have we got over here? Yes, it's getting late, but I'm so close to my bed. I can I can I can risk pushing it a little bit more. My lord, it's almost an hour long. <sighs> I need to appreciate just how much time the Prairie King is going to take in the future. <laughs> If I do an episode with the Prairie King, I need to appreciate. Uh, I need to just like sign off and just do one day that episode. Ye gads. And here I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna get everything done, you know, nice and nice and fast. We're gonna get a get an episode out today. It's, it'll be a little bit delayed simply because, well, you know, I'm just coming back off off a holiday. Yes, it was a holiday in my home, but it still counts as a holiday. But here we are, it's gonna be an hour long episode. Uh, one more cast. I mean, the driftwood is good. Everything else we got, not so. I mean, the green algae isn't terrible either. Uh, it's actually a cooking ingredient that we might want to use later. <clears throat> but the glasses, they need to go. The broken glasses, I, I don't think we'll get anything for them, but it's probably a better place to, to just trash them on the ground. Uh, that was a, a day... Full of errors, a comedy of errors, one could say. Ooh, foraging level two, though. We've now got the means to make, or well, we've got the knowledge to make the survival burger. We do not yet have the means to make it. But that's not too bad. But going into day five with 150 gold and uh, quite a few plants, in fact, a few of them ready to harvest, I think isn't a bad place to wrap up this episode. So I do hope you've enjoyed. I hope you will be joining me for the next. But as ever, to take care.